Hello everyone, this is Jason from Force Hammer Gaming, and today I have another action figure that I want to discuss, and this time it is an Ultraman Tiga figure, based on the TV show of the same name, and it's from, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, in the pronunciation, SH Figure Arts uh, and Tamashi Nations, which are all a part of the Bandai group. So, that's my understanding of the corporate structure, so correct me if I'm wrong. Anyways, let's open this up and see what we get. Okay, so we get an instruction manual showing off all the various parts here. Of course, we get the model of Ultraman Tiga himself. And we get a set of posable hands, a color timer, a crystal or gem, and the Zaparian beam attachment here. So in terms of the model itself, admittedly the Ultraman Tiga costume was never that complicated to begin with. That being said, this model does a really good job of replicating the look of that costume. You know, nice bold coloring all around, the golden highlights on the shoulders here, even the eyes have little uh, bumps in them, so good detailing all around in my opinion. So the initial Ultraman Tiga model comes with a set of close-fisted hands here, but as you saw earlier, it comes with a very wide range of hand gestures here for maximum posability. So these hand gestures include straight fingers with the thumb tucked in, Next, there's fingers slightly curved with the thumb tucked in. Then there's the fingers and thumb fully spread apart. Next, there's the finger straight with the thumb to the side. And lastly, there's a set of hands where the fingers are curved, thumb is tucked in, but slightly raised. Now there's actually one extra hand here, but that seems to be the same as the hand up here with the straight fingers and the tucked in thumb. So I guess that's just an extra for us. Of course, aside from all the hands, we got a couple more accessories that we can switch out. First is the color timer. So we have a blue one here that comes with the model already attached. And then we can switch it out for this reddish color, color timer right here. And next we have the Zaparian beam, which we can assemble by taking this. Next, we have to detach this arm here. And then attach the arm like so. There we go. So the main reason that I bought this model is that it has a lot of articulation in it. So aside from the standard, you know, head moving to side to side, arms up and down, legs back and forth. We got elbow joints here, knee joints here. You can also turn the arm like this. And even the toes, the toes have articulation like so. So combined with all the different hands, it's this model is extremely posable. So as you're about to see, because of how this figure is designed, there are many different poses that you can put it in. However, in exchange for all this posability and articulation, you'll be paying a pretty hefty price. I bought this model from Amazon for around 100 Canadian dollars, so yeah, not cheap. As such, I probably won't be getting a lot of these SH Figure Arts models in the future. Also, because of its price, you probably don't want to give this as a present for any kids. This is more of the kind of thing meant for displaying on your shelf with your collection. All that being said, if you're a fan of the Ultraman series, got a bit of extra cash to burn, and are looking for a really well-crafted figure, then this Ultraman Tiga figure is worth a look. Anyways, that's the end of my video, and I hope you enjoyed watching it. 
As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and be sure to check out my other social media accounts in the description below. Until next time, this is Jason from Force Hammer Gaming, signing off.